Hey folks, so for this installment of uh, Minimalist Monday, I want to do a little bit of a throwback here. I know we've already talked about the knives and blades that I carry with me when I go into the bush. However, I did receive a inquiry from one of our uh, Instagram buddies um, asking as to how I go about sharpening the axis, especially how I sharpen the axis when I'm in the bush. And since this entire series was about my minimalist setup and I do of course have my axis with me, I also do carry a little bit of a little pocket sharpener with me. And what I like to carry is a Thal Kneven DC4 pocket sharpener. This is a little double-sided diamond ceramic sharpener. As you can see here, it's got a diamond side, ceramic on that side, very small, fits into a pocket super easily. Now, before I get into my actual sharpening technique, I would like to preface this by saying I am definitely not a professional by any stretch of the imagination. I sharpen how I sharpen, it works for me. I don't know if it's the absolute best way, but it's always done the trick. Um, that being said, I would like to get into a little bit of sharpening theory here as well before I actually show you my technique. Uh, because there's kind of a couple different schools of thought here regarding edges. A lot of guys like to maintain a razor sharp edge on their knives and their blades, which I get. It's super cool. It's fun to shave off a little bit of arm hair. But in practical application, I find that having a shaving sharp edge just really isn't appropriate for this particular tool. And I'll explain to you why. Think about your shaving razor. There's a very, very fine blade that you know you use maybe two, three, four times max, and you'll probably notice immediately after a few uses, it will start pulling. And that's because no matter how good an edge you have, you start putting that razor on, on the hairs, or in the case of an axis, you put it to wood, you're gonna wear that edge away really quickly. And you see how quickly a, a razor edge goes away when shaving hair. So just imagine what that's like to a razor's edge when you're chopping on wood. So with that in mind, I like to maintain a little bit of a duller edge. That isn't to say that I couldn't easily cut myself on these edges, but I don't need it to be razor sharp because most of my uses are, uh, for all intents and purposes, on wood. Um, it can occasionally, obviously as you've seen in our videos, we do occasionally use it in the kitchen, and for those purposes I will put a much better edge on it. But for my general use edge, I really don't maintain a razor sharp edge because for chopping wood you really don't need it. With that said, the axis actually makes sharpening amazingly easy, despite the fact that it is so thick, because you can choke up on this blade, unlike you can with a lot of other blades, it gives you an enormous amount of control. When I sharpen, holding this just like this, now of course you have two edges that you have to sharpen, so the grip is gonna be a little bit different, but when I'm sharpening my front edge, which is my primary chopping edge, I'll hold it just like this, and very slow, very controlled, I will count out about 10 strokes. And you'll notice I'm moving from the bottom edge to the top. And the reason for this, I don't actually know if this is 100% true, but I like to think that like stropping, I'm kind of aligning the molecules and getting them to go ahead and lay down in the direction that I will be slicing and cutting. Uh, that way, hopefully, I'm thinking it improves my cut a little bit better. So once I've gotten about 10 strokes on one side, I, of course, will move it over do the same thing to the other side. Because it is such a thick blade, you do have to be careful to maintain a very good angle so that you don't actually end up scraping material from along here, which is possible because it is so thick. And once I've got even stroke strokes on either side, I'll go ahead and reverse it to the ceramic side continue to an even number of strokes on either side. So I'd already done a little bit of sharpening of this before I actually shot the video here, but it's more than I need for what I'm going to be doing out there in the bush. And the reality is, as quick and easy as it is to sharpen or put a slight edge back on this thing, you really don't need a lot more than this when you're going in for a bush trek or a bush adventure. Um, I have heard, you know, I did have a buddy um, that I sent one of these early prototypes to, Chris at Drop Forge Survival, who went on a winter excursion and he really wanted a blade that he could really count on and wasn't gonna have to worry about sharpening in the bush. So I do know you can put a razor sharp edge on this because he stopped at uh, Viper Sharp on his way up into the mountains to do his camping trip and uh, I know Viper Sharp has developed a really impressive system where they can sharpen pretty much any blade that you've got. 
And uh, they managed to put a razor sharp edge on this guy, no problem. And of course, Chris, when he was testing it, had uh, uh, an incredible time with it, was really impressed with how well it retained its edge. So it can certainly maintain a razor sharp edge if you want it, but again, like I said, I, I don't really think it's necessary. That being said, once you guys get your axes in the mail, I'd be really interested to hear what you guys do and how you go about sharpening these and how sharp that you maintain them. Uh, like I said, I am not a professional here, so I'm definitely open to learning and I'm sure, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys will be able to do a better job than me. So thanks for watching. I look forward to hearing your all's thoughts in the future. Take care.